I've never been too much involved in Doom's modding scene. Most I've ever done is maybe played like one or two dozen megawatts and maybe some gameplay mods, but that's pretty much it. In the recent few weeks, I kept seeing one mod's name pop up, Doom Infinite. So I downloaded Doom Infinite, at least the demo of it, it's still in development, and I tried it out. Let me say, this has to be one of the most fun I've had in a Doom mod in a long time. If you know what roguelikes are, then Infinite turns classic Doom into a roguelike. But if you don't know what they are, then in a very summarized manner, roguelike is a genre of games that has you in a procedurally generated dungeon or world, it has permadeath, you start from nothing, there's items and power-ups and they're randomized, their placement is randomized, the monster placement is randomized, and so on. Think Hades, Binding of Isaac, or Enter the Gungeon, if you've ever seen one of those games. Now, a lot of those concepts is what Infinite applies to Classic Doom. You have runs in this mod. Every run you are required to start from almost nothing. You just have one starter weapon, one power up or item, and that's it. And as you clear the levels, you come back to this hub area, get one more power up or item, and then start the next level. This loop will repeat as long as you don't die. If you die, then you start from the very beginning. Making Doom a roguelike or RPG or randomizing it isn't really a new concept in the Doom modding scene. With mods like Doom RL Arsenal or Doom RPG, people have been trying to make Doom like this for a while. But what I liked about Doom Infinite is how it furthers this concept, it polishes it, it takes the concepts from mods before, it simplifies it, and most important of all, it makes it fun. While the previous mentioned mods are actually really really good, I just couldn't get into those, but I was immediately hooked onto Infinite. Now Infinite does not feature all new maps, it does not have procedurally generated levels either, but it does something what I think is even better. It takes the actual maps from Doom and it modifies it every run, like sometimes a level will look normal if you come across that level again in a different run then there might be lava pits there now, or maybe spike traps where there weren't before. Walls and floors will be moving and in some cases even have totally new areas in them. This surprised me the most as I got so confused as to why a map looked kinda different to me. Turns out, it was the mod messing with me. This freshens up the experience every time you play through as you don't know what changed and what didn't. But how do you clear a level? Well, before starting a level, the mod tells you how many souls you need to clear it. Souls is like a currency in the mod that allows you to open up new areas in the hub area, as far as I know. You get souls by shooting demons and monsters. The level itself will generally have the usual layout and you'll have to do the same thing, like find the key cards and flick the switches and whatever. But now there's a aspect of randomization around it. Usually Doom maps have a set number of demons in it, and once you kill them all, it's pretty much an empty map. But that's not the case here. The longer you spend time in a map, the more deadlier or random the demons will become. They'll either be short and fast, or super powerful, or their spawn rate will increase, and yada yada yada. The monsters themselves aren't your stock monsters from Doom. Sure, they might look the same as before, but a lot of them now have alternate attacks like you, the player. Shotgunners might have grenade launchers, barons might throw a spreading projectile instead of one projectile, cacos might do a surrounding projectile attack, and so on. It's best to finish the level as soon as you get your souls quota full, because if you stick around, things really do get chaotic. And speaking of alternate attacks, the weapons in Infinite have also been overhauled. They now have stats like spread, damage, range, speed, and mods. Mods include things like a scope, or a grenade launcher, or a flashlight. All of this can be improved using mod packs that sometimes are dropped in the levels. Sometimes you'll get lucky and get a very powerful shotgun that shoots explosive projectiles, or sometimes it's just dual pistols. It's all random and depends on your luck, honestly. And same goes for the power-ups and items. There are power-ups like fast movement, or extra armor, or regenerating ammo, you know, buffs like that. 
and items like the Baron's Claw that shoots a very powerful projectile or this cross that makes you powerful for a short duration but also takes a little bit of your health away too. My first run had me going in with a shotgun, an ammo regenerating power up and the Baron's Claw item. I was practically invincible for a while. My second run had me going in with dual pistols that shot missiles with the cross power up. My third run was the most difficult of them all because of the lack of ammo I had. So every run you'll face something new and something different and the mod will definitely surprise you with its tricks. This is a mod for when you just wanna shoot some demons and listen to Doom's badass soundtrack. There'll be a surprise for you in every run and in every level. One last thing I gotta mention is how well the sound design has been improved. Sound effects are stock, but the new ones added on top make it more crunchy and satisfying to the ear. The mod is currently in development though, so it's gonna get even better from here on I hope. The best part I liked about this mod is that I couldn't find any information about it before going in. Sure, there is a mod page, but there's no information in the mod page or the readme. I didn't know what the power-ups are, what the weapons are, or what the items are. The readme only told me how to install. So you literally have to discover these things on your own. Well, I kinda ruined it for you now, but hey, I only played like a few hours, so maybe you'll find something more than I did. So yeah, definitely check it out if you're looking for a fun Doom mod or just a fun mod in general. Link's gonna be in the description. Thanks for watching, and a big thanks to these benefactors for supporting the channel. Unusual, T-Boy301, Tombstone, Jack5282, Tyvanesium, Bubba, Quiltman, 501st Cloneboy, Interloper CS, TTG, Robocop, Noel, Nobody Important, Franco Senlehi, Cheems Boger, Justin Imbergriff, Teresor, Otakon Nachos, Lamdre, Roadkill, Walter Taylor, Hobgobbies, No Click, Geode, Fisher Grice, Hawk Assault, Mistress Pabon, Jelen, A Normal Street Lamp, TRR Droid, and Bipolet. Thanks again, and see you in the next one!